Okay, we're on Yuma Perak Aleph Mishnah Dalid. We're continuing to discuss the preparations that they would make, that they would make for the Kohen Gadol, for the high priest, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the days leading up to the to Yom Kippur. So we said, we learned that the, they would bring the Kohen Gadol and he would stay in the Lishka and the Azara for seven days prior, prior to Yom Kippur. So the Mishnah says, very short Mishnah, Koshivat Hayamim, all seven days, Lo Yumonimimenu Machal Mishnah. They wouldn't limnoa means to hold back. They wouldn't hold back from him ma'achal, food, or mishteh, or drink. You could eat and drink whatever you wanted. But, Erev Yom HaKippurim Im Chashecha, but towards Yom Kippur, as they approach darkness, they wouldn't let the Kohen Gadol eat a lot. Because the more you eat, the more tired you got. Okay, and uh, therefore, and the Kohen Gadol, his job was to stay up all night. Because they were afraid that if he went to sleep, it's called Shema Yireh Keri. Let's see, there's all the other things. They wouldn't eat, let him eat a lot. That don't bring to chimum is, uh, you know, body warm. Okay? They wouldn't let him eat certain foods that the Chachamim believed. Let a person to have carry. Carry is a nocturnal emission. And if the Quran Gadol had carry, then he'd be pasul because he'd become tamay. Like gon chalav, ubeitzim, milk, eggs, basar, meat, fat meat. Yain Yashan, old wine, the Kayotzebem. So they would eat, he would eat a light meal, he would eat as much as he wanted before Yom Kippur, but on the afternoon, Erev Yom Kippur, towards the evening, they fed him a light meal because he had to stay up all night, and they didn't want him falling asleep or having an omission. Stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzhak Kalman. As always, if you have comments or questions, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.